Oh, hey, my name's Ryan. Then today, I'm gonna max out my clean pool. Here we go. All right, once you get involved in the wonderful world of weightlifting, ooh, that's an alliteration. Wonderful world of weightlifting. Wonderful what? Your mind gets opened up to almost literally hundreds of different exercises you can potentially do. So let's just go over what the clean pull is really quick. Okay, so the clean pull, pretty much the same as the clean in terms of its starting position and intent and execution. However, the difference here is you're going to terminate the lift after the second pull, pretty much once you've run out of room to shrug the bar. All right, let's take a couple cracks out of here, just get warmed up. So the question becomes right off, why are you doing this? I mean, what's even the point? I don't know, you generally see that like, you don't wanna go above 110% of your clean max for clean pools in order for there to be some sort of benefit, some sort of transfer, right? That's what we're always concerned with, is transfer. How is this exercise gonna affect that exercise? Well, I don't care. I don't care. I literally don't care about that argument. You wanna know why I'm doing this? Because it sounded like a really fun thing to do. There's also a dope video of Lu Jun. Hopefully I said that right. I'll take one more take of that. Lu Jun Doing a clean pool of like 600 pounds. And it's awesome. Fight me. Ooh, new camera angle. A good video is all about perspective. And I just want you all to see me in a different light. Plus, this is my good side. <laughs> oh. Let's take another crack at that just to warm it up more. <clears throat> In all seriousness, though, this would be a great exercise if you're just getting started uh, with the Olympic lifts to just try out and feel it out and just get some good practice with. It's not nearly as complex as the full Olympic lifts, and it gives you time to focus on those first two pulls without having to worry about the third, getting underneath the bar and catching it which in my opinion is the most technical part of either of the lifts. So, And also I wouldn't do what I'm doing today and just max it out. I would try to make it feel and look as much like a clean or a snatch as I could, the beginning portion of it that is. And I almost guarantee you that if you're doing these for the first time, you're gonna allow that bar to drift away from you. When you go to push your hips through, you're probably gonna push out and the bar's gonna go like this instead of up. You want everything to come up. Keep the bar close, get it traveling up. Massively important. Yes! Starting to get heavy. Not heavy enough. If I may indulge you, expand your definition of what you think strength means. If you're just getting into strength training, it's pretty common for you to define strength solely through your performance in one particular lift. Probably the squat, the bench, and the deadlift, right? Those are the big three lifts. Those are the most common. And you know what? Yes, if you perform well in those lifts, and you've got some good numbers there, yeah, you are strong. There's no doubt about that. But to me, strength is like a transcendent quality. It should be able to show up in really whatever it is that you're doing, once you have technical competence. So I just want to be strong in a bunch of different exercises. I don't really care about being as strong as possible in one particular exercise and making sure that my training revolves around that goal. Being strong to me just means being able to do it all really, really well. Sweet Miss Betty likes to sing off key in the pew behind me. <laughs> yep! Go <Yep. sighs> Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? It doesn't feel like it counts. Well, let's keep going up. Who cares? I think this is gonna be my last one. All right, if I'm able to shrug this at all, even just a little bit, we're gonna count that as a dub. <laughs> ah! Ah! 
Let's send that tape to the officials. There's one thumbs up. Good news for Joe's. Let's see how our second judge votes. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck Norris. All right, let's do a couple legit good ones. Just to round this session off. Yes! Good idea, bad idea, who cares? The best idea is that you come out here and train hard and try something new. Training is fun.